Hello and welcome to the Princess Penelope Show, Queen of Make Do, Princess of the 802. I'm a princess because I was born in a kingdom. 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 Yes, so that makes me a princess eligible to wear a crown. We're talking in a British accent because it's funny, it's goofy, it's fun to do. Try it. You'll probably like it. It's a lot of fun. So what do we do on the show? Starring Princess Penelope, yours truly, Queen of Make Do, Princess of the 802. One of the first things we do is we're going to give you a tip on how to make do. That's coming up in a little couple minutes, so you'll have to wait around for that. So, <clears throat> I was born in the kingdom to Queen Jane, hail the queen. Part of this show is a drinking show. Every time we hail the queen, you at home get to take a sip of your favorite adult beverage. So grab your favorite beverage, tune in. Today we're making do with something different. My favorite's White Claw, but we're drinking hard seltzer. So hail the queen and make do. See how that goes? And the more hails I do, the drunker you get and the funnier I get. So that's how we play. All right, so what is this show about besides drinking? Because sometimes I'll be drinking, but sometimes I won't be drinking. We are going to make people laugh. We're going to have fun. We're going to have Q&As. We're going to have chatting with Chuck. We're going to do more Bigfoot, that's for sure. Some of my fans might remember me from the Bigfoot show. Um, that was really great, and we're going to do more Bigfoot hunting, for sure. Um, we're going to do yoga with Kay. We're going to do Hooping with Michelle. We're going to do more. We're chatting with Chuck. We did some uh, chocolate challenge with Chuck, but we'll do some more chatting with Chuck. We're here to make the world a brighter place because right now the world is fucked up. F word is a word that we use a lot, okay? Because we don't say what a lot of comedians say. They say GD, JC, uh, OMG, OMG. We don't say that here. We say, oh my fuck, because why? Because we're Christians. So we, it's a bad habit a lot of people do. We would rather say fuck because it's much better than taking God's holy name in vain. So that's one of the things. Um, so today's tip of the day is the pantyhoe and soap trick. I bet you just can't wait to figure it out. Pantyhose, uh, right? So, everybody has these items in the house because everything is so expensive. And King John, hail the king. Take a sip. We hail kings and queens. So, King John, my father, kingdom of the 802, he says, waste not, want not. So, what we've done, and products, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they've gone outrageous. Everything is so expensive. It's crazy. So we've taken all, all little, from around the house, everybody has these little soap thingies that, you know, don't quite get used, right? And every lady has pantyhose and every guy has some sort of soap, pantyhose, pantyhose. So you take your soap, you stick them in the pantyhose, like so. <laughs> I'm a poet. And you pull them all down to the end. Now what you have here is way more than a bar of soap. And it's exfoliating, so you take it in the shower, you tie a knot here, and you're ready to go. You're ready to go for the shower so you can get clean and you don't stink. That's, you know, handy when you run out of soap. So, that's your tip of the day. So, we're going to talk about a lot of queens. We have Queen Jane up in New England, running the colony. Hail the queen. Hail the queen. And we have me, Queen of Make Do. I can't wait to do a mukbang for you guys. Let me know in the comments.